Hello, Oz here, and I shared this in the validation class. I just mentioned this. This wasn't a validation exercise, but this was more about VBA code and about retrieving information from the web. So I've got this set up to where I want to grab uh, Nike, Starbucks, and DirecTV, and I'm going to say I've got, um, let's say I've got... 75 shares of Nike that I got in uh, let's say March 20th of let's say 2001 and Starbucks I bought yes yeah, say let's leave that at 200 and say that I bought that December 15th of you know, let's just say 2012 and direct TV 500 shares that I purchased yeah let's leave that at September 4th of 2012 okay so I'm gonna go over here and press this button and then we're gonna watch down here where it says things like connecting to web and everything all right it goes fast but just here we go and the macro is programmed to clear out any existing data now it's connecting the web and calculating and everything all right we're getting some information in copying web data sheet okay all right sale query is complete okay so what it's telling us is these are the current prices as of right now and this estimates the price because yeah we don't know what date exactly so we say around the 20th of March 2001 and let's see estimated tax rate tax exposure estimated and estimated net so if we sold now let's see yeah we'll take a loss uh, well we'd um, make money on Nike and then lose money on the other two if we were to do that right now so um, yeah there you go and it says this is when uh, we ran this the 22nd of March at 9.08 a.m. So that's all the macro and I can get into some more details later but what happens is the macro it's programmed to go onto the internet get the historicals get the current price bring those web pages into Excel it knows where to uh, pull the information from and then it reorganizes it so that's what happens all in one step at the push of a button it was not easy to program this but it happens so anyway that's it have a good day and let's talk soon bye